Oh, Lord, what an evening we've had. You can say that again. Oh, Lord, what an evening we've had. <laughs> I, for one, am ready for bed. Everything has been put up and cleaned. We should be good. You said everything's been clean? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Are you positive? 100%. What about these pudding cups? Well, they haven't been open, and they don't need refrigeration, so it'll be okay. <laughs> well, I guess after all this excitement, everyone forgot dessert. <laughs> it seems so. Is it okay if I sleep in the girls' dorm tonight? It's really late, and I always keep a spare set of clothes here anyway. Yeah, everything you need should be in there. Thanks. Good night, all. See you in the morning. I think I'll turn it off, so I've got some praying to do. Miss Sophie, thank you for your help tonight. I hope all that wonderful excitement didn't discourage you from coming back. <laughs> Please, just call me Sophie. <laughs> should we take you to your car or call a cab? Oh, Bruce, I'll get that. I'll see her out. You go ahead and hit the... Go ahead and go to bed. Have a good evening. I'll right. turn the lights and stuff off, people. Good night. Good night, everybody. Well, I guess I'd better be going as well. Would you want a cup of coffee before you hit the road? Oh, you're in my mind. <laughs> this evening to help us out. I would say that things normally don't take, don't take part like that, but with God in the mix, you just never know who or what he's going to send your way. You really believe that, don't you? About what? That God sends people. Oh, oh yes I do, but it sounds like maybe you're not so sure. <laughs> well, I've always gone to church. Well, I've attended, and I've most of the time been a very nice, kind person, but and I've always thought I believed in God, <coughs> but being here is different. What did you mean earlier when you said Norman Dwayne, Danielle? Why did I call her Dwayne? I don't know. Um, had accepted the Lord into their heart. Well, that means that they asked Jesus to come into their lives and into their hearts and to forgive them of their sins. Romans 3.23 says, For we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But John 3.16 says, that, whosoever that God sent his only Son, that whosoever <laughs> believeth in him would not perish but have everlasting life. So they asked Jesus to come into their lives and to forgive them of their sins. Uh, they believe this with their, not just their heads, but with their hearts as well. The Bible calls it born again. Everyone needs a savior, even the good people. Huh. I've never heard it put like that. Makes it personal. Yeah, it kind of puts the ball in your court, so to speak. Well, I overheard you and Bruce talking about finances earlier. Do you know the Witherspoons? I don't, but Bruce said that he, their families knew each other for quite some time back. He said that the daughter, Ellie, uh, hadn't been involved in the corporation for a while, but uh, he didn't know if she was still involved. Hold, hold up. Ellie? He called Eleanor Witherspoon. Ellie? Nobody calls her that. So do you know her? Oh, that's of no importance to you. <laughs> Say, what are you going to do if that check doesn't come in? Oh, you know, even if the check from Witherspoon Industries doesn't come through, God always comes through. Oh, would you look at the time? I have stuff I need to do, and this evening's been fun. Can I borrow this? Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Be my guest. Keep it as long as you like.
sleeping in here for tonight in case in case anyone you know wakes up during the night. <laughs>